Hello, I'm Nick Fenton with Ticker Tank, and we have just released a new options trade. Uh, this is for our options trading email delivery system, and this is a long call position. Very simple. So the trade here, we're buying to open the Goog, which is ticker symbol for Google, November 490 call at 3730 debit GTC limit. So that's a good till cancel limit. That limit order will work until you manually cancel it or it fills. So just a, a breakdown, reiteration, the legs, there's only one leg here, buy one November 490 call at 3730 debit. We're just going to look at this on a per contract basis, so the analysis will be based on one contract, but you just do the math if you're going to enter multiple contracts. Here's the risk plot profile for this Goog options trade. First thing to note with regard to this risk plot profile is that the x-axis represents the price of the stock and the y-axis represents the profit and loss on this trade. So this zero line right here is this white dotted line. No profit, no loss. Anything below that is a loss on the trade. Anything above that is a gain on the trade. So 490 is our leg here. This is the strike price we're utilizing. And this risk plot profile is based on analysis on options expiration day for November. So you don't necessarily have to hold until November expiration, but this analysis is based on holding until November expiration. Keep that in mind. So 490 here, max loss on the trade is $3730. We said the debit on this was 37.30. Each contract contains 100 shares, so you just multiply that 3730 by 100 and you get 3730 dollars. So it requires $3,730 in capital to enter this trade, and you are risking $3,730 per contract that you enter. So if you anything at or below this 490 strike on options expiration for November results in a loss of $3,730 per contract. So as you can see here is as we move above 490, we start to see diminished losses all the way until we get to our break even on this trade which is 527.30 so 527.30 is the break even on this trade Google has to be trading at 527.30 on options expiration to break even on this trade anything above 527.30 results in a profit on this trade and the amount of profit is theoretically unlimited and it can just go and go and go so theoretically unlimited uh, profits and our loss is floored out at 37.30 per contract. Let's take a look at the stock chart and explain exactly why we are bullish on Goog. First thing we're looking at here is a one-year bar chart. At the top of the bar chart we've got the stocks price action, so the price action here in Google. Below that we have volume and below that we have RSI. First thing to note is we have a nice inverse head and shoulders pattern in Goog. So left shoulder, head, right shoulder. If you take a look at the volume that coincides with each shoulder, the left shoulder, we have a nice spike in volume. On the head, there's slightly lighter volume. And on the creation of the right shoulder, there's even weaker volume. This is exactly what you want to see in these type of formations, diminishing volume as the head and shoulders pattern progresses. Now, equally as important, if not more importantly, we need to take a look at this neckline. This is the area at which we've seen resistance throughout the formation of the inverse head and shoulders pattern. And in this case, our neckline resides right here at 510, and it's a flat neckline. Take a look at the volume here. We have a nice spike in volume, and that volume coincides with action pushing towards neckline resistance and breaking through neckline resistance. So we've seen the breakthrough of neckline resistance and the volume is strong on that breakthrough which is a great sign. It's a must have when you're trading these inverse head and shoulders patterns. Gotta have that strong volume on the breakout of the neckline. So we've got that and this indicates a reversal in trend. Basically prior to the formation we had a downtrend intact. You can see this downtrend just recently breaking here and following the break of the downtrend we got a break of this 
neckline of the inverse head and shoulders pattern, and we're anticipating continuation to the upside. So let's get rid of the downtrend and stick with the inverse head and shoulders. To measure this move, you simply take a look at the neckline. You look at the head, which in this case, we'll call it 440, is the base of the head, and directly above that head, where does the neckline reside? Well, in this case, it's 510. So you subtract 440 from 510, and that equates to 70. So you've got a 70 point height in this inverse head and shoulders pattern. So you simply say, okay, I need to add 70 to the point of the inverse head and shoulders neckline break. Neckline break took place here at 510. Add 70 to that, and you get your 580 target. So we're anticipating a move to 580 here in Goog, but you can see that this inverse head and shoulders pattern started you know, around May and right now is September. So you know, we've seen a good four months of formation here. So we aren't expecting this target to be hit overnight. Typically, it takes about half the time of the creation of the inverse head and shoulders pattern for the target to hit, you know, give or take. So we want to give it at least two months, which is why we went to November on the options, or on the calls. So we're giving it till November to gradually make its way up to 580, in which case we would have a nice hefty gain in these calls. One other thing I want to mention here, if we take a look at implied volatility levels, here we're looking at a, another, a different chart, but at the bottom of this chart we have our implied volatility history. And you can see here that the implied volatility, which indicates the amount of extrinsic premium that's priced into these options, is not outlandish at this point. We're sitting here, right here, you know, right around here you wouldn't want to be a buyer of options. We've got crazy extrinsic premium there. Right around here, definitely want to be a buyer. But right here we're kind of in the middle point, closer towards this most recent lows and implied volatility. So no real threat in the implied volatility levels. Premium is not at a level that sways us against from wanting to buy the options. So we're comfortable buying the options. We're comfortable with the extrinsic premium levels via the implied volatility. And we really like the action here in the stock. Lastly, wanted to point out that it is breaking this 200-day exponential moving average. The 200-day is this pink line. And basically, you know, Goog reacts to this somewhat, somewhat. You know, here in the past, we've seen a break of a bearish break with price action breaking through the 200-day exponential moving average from the, the top down. And we saw a nice fall through to the downside there. Now we're seeing a break from the bottom up, which is a bullish breakthrough, uh, the 200-day exponential moving average, which just gives us further confidence in the bullish side of this trade. So rolling with the Google long calls, the 490 November calls at 37.30 GTC limit, anticipating continued upside action in Goog with a price target at 580, at which point we would definitely be exiting the calls. We do have a plan on exiting in the event we see action in Goog pulling back towards this 490 level, you know, giving it some re giving it a pullback well below this neckline resistance turn support, uh, we will be exiting these calls for a loss. So we've got those alerts set, and that's a nice little alert there for reevaluation on this trade and potential exit for a loss, you know, stop the bleeding type situation. Um, you know, pull back to 490 would indicate that this pattern is likely null and void, and um, you know we'd, we'd want to move on to the next one. So if you have any questions about this trade, feel free to email me, nick at tickertank.com. And if you need assistance in entry, feel free to email me as well or call your broker and ask for the option specialist. They're always there to help you out.